For small to mid-sized businesses, payroll can be a daunting responsibility for HR. An organization's HRIS should make running payroll easier. If dealing with the software is more trouble than it's worth, it may be time to consider a change in payroll providers. But what are the signs that you should switch? And when is the best time to do so? Today, I will answer these questions and explain what you can do to make the change go more smoothly. So let's dive in. What are three signs it's time for a new payroll provider? Efficient and error-free payroll is a necessity for a thriving organization. If your provider isn't making that part of your job easier, you should consider changing payroll systems. Here are the top three signs your payroll provider needs to change. First up, payroll takes too long. There are so many moving pieces to payroll, from time, PTO, and benefits deductions to new hire information, direct deposits, and reimbursements. Hours and pay can vary based on whether an employee is exempt or non-exempt. And time spent calculating all these rates manually with overtime, bonuses, commissions, and tips can eat away a lot of your work week. Plus, once gross pay is calculated, you still have to deduct benefits and withhold taxes. If your payroll provider can't take care of most of these steps, you're probably spending six to eight hours every pay period just running payroll. Second, there are too many errors. More manual data entry also increases the chance of error. If your provider isn't a truly all-in-one system, you'll risk costly mistakes at every step of the way. Plus, if you're using an integration to move data between systems, for example, from benefits deductions into payroll, then each one of these transactions increases the likelihood of a failed payroll run. And finally, your system is too hard to use. Beware software with little or no self-service options for employees. If your team has to maneuver through an outdated and confusing system to find basic payroll information, such as pay stubs, employees will come to you constantly when they can't figure out how to use the software. That defeats the purpose of automating payroll in the first place. If these signs are visible at your organization, it is likely best to consider a new software provider to run your payroll. When is the best time to change payroll providers? Your organization can technically change its payroll system at any time, but it's best to make the transition at the end of a calendar year. That's because when you file taxes for a given tax year, the IRS needs the entire year's payroll history, regardless of what system it's on for your employees' W-2s. Switching at the top of a year saves the trouble of pulling that year-to-date payroll history into your new software. If you don't have to bother with gathering employee tax returns, the process will be faster and depending on your software provider, you'll likely avoid a fee associated with consolidating the data. Can you switch payroll providers mid-year? The short answer is yes, switching mid-year is possible, but it can be more challenging. To do it, you'll have to import all your employees' payroll histories into the new system, including Form 941, State Income Tax Withholdings, and unemployment insurance. Plus, you may have to give your new provider login access to your old system. If you don't want to share that information, you can provide reporting and payroll data for each employee, but that's much more time consuming. If January 1st isn't an option, or if you just don't want to wait that long, the next best time to switch payroll providers is at the end of any quarter. If you start running payroll through your new system on April 1st, January 1st or October 1st, you'll simplify some of the paperwork and have the opportunity to run parallel payroll for a few cycles to make sure all employee withholdings and deductions are coming through correctly. If you're looking for a new payroll provider now, check out Bernie Portal's all-in-one software that combines payroll, HR, and benefits in a single unified system. I'll put a link to schedule a demo in the description. For more information on all things payroll, check out our free Burning You course, Payroll Basics for Employers, which is pre-approved for SHRM and HRCI recertification credits. I'll put a link in the description. That's it for this HR FAQ. If you wanna learn more HR best practices, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One and HR FAQ episodes. 
As always, thanks for watching.